It's your section, my bad, my bad, my bad. Hey, quit trying to run this section. Man. Shut up, Trick Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tootsie Roll. <laughs> Tootsie Roll face the dairy. I'm just going to yell out during the middle of this like Chris eat ass. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, Keenan does. <laughs> all I did was close the door. I never, I never agreed to He said to all I did was kiss it. I didn't actually eat it. <laughs> your face said enough. No. I just put my nose in it. I didn't lick it. You put your nose in the stink, nigga. You nasty. You did that. No, I didn't. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. What's happening? Welcome to another installment of the corner where we talk all things music. And welcome to the special Friday edition. We came in here just for this reason. We got Chris what? in the building. Yo, what? what's up? The dude over here on my iPad, bro. What are you doing? <laughs> I was like Johnny on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> he be snitching. snitching. Yeah. Like, I'm sitting over here minding my business. We were slated to review a baby fast album that we discovered. Well, I discovered, but... Something mm-hmm. else came out. We're gonna we're gonna review Drake in twenty one seven. Twenty one, twenty one. Twenty one, twenty one. This this album is called Her Loss. We're gonna the leave. Queen son. That boy's from England. The <laughs> Queen that just died. R. I. P. <laughs> Uh, hey, don't 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 carry this shit over from the sports round. Now. You need to shape up and ship out. <laughs> they locked him up because of his passport. Yeah. They about to Jay Z got him out. Boy, yeah. Yeah. Palace, well, we got we got Drizzy in twenty one uh, Savage man. Twenty one. What y'all what y'all thinking, man? How y'all feel about it, man? Are we rating? Y'all want me to start or what y'all? Oh, go y'all ahead, Lindary. Oh man, I'm no, let somebody else start, man. Let Johnny start. Johnny had a lot to say about shit. it. I'm gonna get this album, drum roll please, a solid six. Okay. I'm not a big 21 fan, honestly, uh, but it was a couple tracks on the album I like. Uh, wait, my phone out. Talk, say something, Keenan, while I look this up real quick. Say something, Keenan, while I'm looking this up real quick. No, I mean, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> something, Keenan. Nah, would you, would you, uh, would you give it? Okay. John? Back. So Spin Bout You That was a song I really liked Okay Back Outside Boys Was another song I really liked Back Outside Boys Was cool That yeah. was Drake's song Which one was it Five Spin Bout You It was Spin Bout You uh, It sounded like another song I don't know what simple this is But I definitely heard this before Juicy For You Oh yeah Yeah This one's good it was Yeah good. I like it Fuck that up <laughs> but yeah, this one and uh, Back Outside Boys, and then uh, Jumbo Tron shit popping. Three songs on there I, I thought was pretty great. Songs. Jumbo shit Tron popping. Jumbo, Jumbo Tron yeah. shit was good. The rest of them, yeah. I don't know if it's because I'm not a big Twenty One fan. I'm probably not a big Drake fan either. But I felt like I felt six. like I felt like this is like Drake trying to like. I don't want to say like like give Twenty One Savage more notoriety, but it's like. It's like he gave. It's like he's like trying to help him boost himself up or something. Like I mean, I felt like Twenty One Savage is getting better, dude. I literally I thought, getting better. When I listened to this, I thought Drake lost a bet. You thought Drake lost a bet? I swear to God. <laughs> Jesus, so this is his Monaco, right? Yeah, I was like Drake must have lost a bet, and he got. And Twenty One was like, you got to do an album with him. Ain't this their no. second album together? No, this is their. This is coming off of that feature for Jimmy Cooks or whatever that song was. What's the name of that song? They don't sound natural together when I listen to it. It's two different styles. It's two like, different think, styles for sure. So do you did you hear listen to the Drake and Future collaborative album? No. Well y'all say it's two different styles, but I swear to God, like when you listen to this, it's a lot of songs. I don't know if it's Drake or Twenty One Savage. Was that like, a good thing or a bad thing? I, well, they that, say Drake still people's style. Wouldn't that make I know that. them the same style if you couldn't tell who was rapping? That, that was a problem for me. Because I know that's not Drake's style, but there's a couple songs in there. I'm like, is that Drake or Twenty One Savage? Cause he's rapping just like Twenty One Savage. I just feel like uh, some, uh, somewhat. Twenty One Savage is monotone. He don't switch his flow for real. Right, but me, Drake does. Obviously, let me find he a sings song. and my one of my favorite songs is Treacherous Twins. I did like that. I, I didn't really like that. Song. It wasn't as high on my list as those other three though. But he talks some shit in here. I like that one. Then he had I forgot what the other song was, but he had one where he talked about how people gave him shit. For making like a uh, the dance hall album, the dance hall album, but then he's like, "But I'm fucking global." Mm-hmm. Yeah, 
So I was like, okay, I'm gonna like, shut that shit from my overseas. Shut dude. that shit up, pretty much. I'm Drake. I like yeah. middle of the ocean. Middle of the ocean's good. I like that shit. And old Birdman came in talking at the end of it. I turned him off. But <laughs> <middle> of- <laughs> <laughs> I heard that nigga start talking. I was like, all right, I'm, I'm not here for this. I'm out of here. But middle of the ocean, that was probably my favorite Play song. Middle of the ocean, let me hear that. Yeah. I think he start talking. You was talking about him talking some shit. He start talking and shit. He said, <laughs> "Damn, hold up." My nigga said, "I'm like a coat poter the way the dom stick to me." I said, Ooh. "Okay." <laughs> and then it, that whole like little run right there, he was talking shit, but that one stuck out. Who said that? Drake. Uh, that Drake was like, the all, yeah, it was only Drake on that. Oh, song. okay. So now this, this, yeah. this. I miss rapping Drake. You know, we get a little, we get a little pieces of rapping Drake that he's, he's still, he's still alive. Yeah. You know, I thought he was going straight global, straight dance hall, straight whatever the fuck I feel like this morning. But he, he, he still got it. Man. That's this was Drake. I didn't doubt it, but I feel like this was this was a Drake album. I was featuring Twenty One. I felt like Drake I feel was, like it felt a lot. I like felt like Drake summer. carried the album. Yeah, well, for course. sure. The majority was him, but, but I feel like this that. was him. Like, man, they talking crazy about me. Like, I ain't got it. And I fell off. He, he I'm about out, to put something out. He came out of spark because I wonder how much of this is like shit that he's recorded and just was like throwing it out because like y'all ain't heard it. Because I'm like, uh, that, that that product didn't come out that long ago. That honestly, never mind. So I don't know if this was like a vibe that they caught making that song or something. They just made a whole bunch of songs. Or what's honestly, never mind. That's the last album he made. It was the dance hall, the yeah. gripping and stuff that you did. That bullshit. To. Oh, yeah. yeah, I thought it was okay. I thought it was cool. I thought his last album was CLB. You no, know, he dropped yeah. another one before that. Uh-huh. After that, a lot of people forgot about honestly. Three AM in Glenwood. <laughs> that's that what. Was a, that's what I thought. I was like, okay, twenty. That was one song I thought twenty one savage. I was like, okay, now. And that's what I'm like. Drake is coaching you to be a better. I, I, no disrespect to Mr. Savage, but <laughs> you don't, wanna, you don't, don't want him pulling want, up. I don't want no problems, but I just felt like Drake is like. Or are you gonna call the immigration? I, I, I feel like I feel like Drake is like helping them step up. Like some of the shit, I'm like some lines of, for Twenty One Savage. I'm like, okay, that sounds like some Drake shit, but I'm I'm down for it. I'm coming at your neck like a necktie. I don't remember if that was a song, but it was one song on there where Twenty One Savage said like, "I get on your 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 uh, track and I." Basically, I'm the best one. And then Drake said, I get on your track and I make the record label think they really need you. Yeah. yeah. And I was, and I was like, like, I was like, are you talking to 21 Savage? Yeah, I was like, bro, you talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you disrespectful. That was, that was, I was like, hold on, man. Let me think about this for a second. Now, one of my, my favorite songs, excuse my language, ladies and gentlemen, Pussy and Millions. This beat was hard. Yeah, that was oh, probably man. that was probably one of my first or second favorite song on there. This beat, I like. Hard. My dude said, "They say more money, more problems. Bring Where, the problems. Bring the problems." Yeah, I, I like said, that. I like that. Yeah, I like that. I said, "Boy, you talking your shit, Drake. Like I'm I the say, problem." I say, "Bring the problems." Yeah. Bring on them problems. Bring on them problems. I, I, I like that. The beat, like the beat is super tough. And then uh, my other favorite song was "No BS" or "On BS." Sorry. Oh, back on BS. Yeah. So what'd you rate this, Chris? I rate this a on BS. 8.4. Oh, really? What the fuck? You thought this was good. Yep. Oh, it was good. I like, but see, I'm not a big 21 fan either, but I do like Drake's portion of this. But it was like 21 was okay. He wasn't great, but he didn't hurt it either. It's like, it's like uh like father, like son. You know what I'm saying? With, yeah. with Birdman and Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne went crazy on it, and Birdman was like tolerable. Yeah, you know, so like just don't fuck it that. up. I get yeah. that because Birdman didn't kill he, the song. He, he didn't kill it. But it didn't it, make it like I don't want to listen to this song. But, but this Weezy was still doing his thing. I get this that. I thought good. it was good. I, I mean, there was a few songs I didn't like, but what 10, 10 or so I, I liked. Hmm. It's a good song, man. Good album, especially what Drake had a couple solo songs. solos. Yeah, there wasn't like any them. songs I just flat out hated. No, yeah, I would say it was about a seven to me. Like. I like the. I'm not the 21 yeah, fan, I'm a, I'm a and I can man. do without 21 a lot. But I, like I, I feel like Drake was rapping. Like Drake yeah. was, Drake was, rapping, Drake rapping, was rapping, rapping on this album, so I give it a seven. And he, I th- he had talk, like he take care. That, had like take care vibes. He was talking that money shit on Broke Boys. I like people who talk that money. He's talking that money shit. I just I'm like that part. Some. He said the eight words that I think about is fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. Yeah. I was like, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, on the intro, man, he started. What did he say on the intro, bro? 
he was he was all these acronyms, but I knew I was following along. But I'm like, yeah, you 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 coming out with some shit, Drake? You 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 Mike? I almost tweeted it like, all right, Drake, you spitting? I was like, nah, let me let me let me let it ride. You put anything on your playlist? Not yet, not yet. After the third listen, what about you? I gave it a couple listens before I start adding them to my playlist. There's a few songs I'll add on there for sure. That uh, middle of the ocean to make it. Yeah. De- definitely a solid A for me though. I don't just throw stuff on a playlist lightly like that, but <laughs> I've heard your playlist. <laughs> nah, I got quality, man, but yeah, okay. I think back outside boys and uh spin about you. That could probably that could make like the flow trip playlist. Did anybody figure out who that woman was? What woman? She's a um, this on the album cover. So they said she's a model. She's a model or something. <laughs> Come like on, that. I seen the name. I seen. It. I didn't know oh, why it was a big deal. I didn't know who it was. Oh. I thought I mean, she was a big deal about her. her. I didn't know who it was, and I didn't know the significance of who she was. With the album being titled "Her Loss," an image of a woman, and the intro, Drake saying, "Say some, say something to my pussy ex." I'm like, who's I this thought, lady? Who's this lady? I kind of thought he was talking about her loss was for Ice Spice. Ice Spice? Did he try yeah. to sign her or something? I think he, they was messing around, and maybe she didn't. Oh, he, he shot his shot at her. And I, she I don't know. Maybe not. And you he's kind of like her loss because he did shoot a shot at her. He was like, uh, he said that one of the bars was. For he her. called. He called my nigga Drake a much. She called Drake a much. <laughs> no, nah, it was like. Uh, <laughs> I guess the bar was for Ice Spice, uh, but it was like you trying to rap, but you sound better on mute or something like that. Damn. And they said that line was towards Ice Spice. And they wait, said wait, that wait. they was messing around. So you telling me Drake's that dude that be like, hey, hey, what's up with you? Hey, beautiful. And then you be like, no, thank you. He be like, fuck you, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it <laughs> sounds like. Yeah. I'm just, I say, hypo- I hypothetically, it's my hypothesis. They say Drake Petty, man. Wait, did somebody say this or is this your opinion? No, it was like, I figured her loss. He was talking about Ice Spice. Or he was talking about Meg Thee Stallion, too. He threw a bar in there for her, too. She yeah. responded today, but I didn't yeah. see what she said. But I, I don't know if he would. A be lot of people her responded loss. to Drake. Drum was out, too. Uh, Drum responded. Uh, Serena's husband responded. Oh, yeah. yeah he Whoa, he, what he, ca- said about he called Serena's husband a groupie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's because he called him a groupie. He called Drake a groupie first. So, so hold on, real quick. But hold on, like, if, hold on. if I'm Serena's husband and you, like, talking shit about my wife, I'm like, you fucking groupie. Hold on, hold on, real quick. They can't hear it. What are you listening what are you for? Listening? I'm listening. I'm listening. The acronym shit I was talking about. YouTube can't hear that. Bro, YouTube you can't stop can't the whole podcast so you can listen. <laughs> yes, to nigga. So the girl I can hear on the something. cover is a model and a exotic dancer. A stripper. Yes. Boy, stop playing, John. Queen Yusuka. What's her stage name? Suki Baby. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Suki Baby? Suki Baby. That's oh. what I thought too, Chris. Or... Sucky baby, it yeah. could be sucky. It's yeah. S U K I. Oh. Sucky, sucky. That sounds like sucky. Mm. What's sucky, a long, long use y'all interpretation? Is it a hard U or no? Or is it a lazy you? God know my heart. <laughs> <laughs> so what'd you give it, Johnny? A seven. Seven. I thought it was cool. You gave it a six. Yeah, I'm the low man. What'd you give it? I gave it an eight. And, jo- and, and Chris didn't give us a whole number. He 8. Gave 4. Us 8. 4. I'll be throwing them eights out, man. I thought it was good. I didn't have no problem with it. I ain't either. I like, That's well, bad. like I said, mostly Drake's parts. That's what I was kind of raiding on. 21 Savage didn't do enough for me to just be jumping up, you know. I just feel like if 21 did a little bit better, it could have pushed it even higher. I don't so have was, nothing it, against it. It was, it was almost a 10 for you. If. Uh, and I don't know. Say if you're in place twenty one four, you're only one point six away like from a eight point seven or closer to a nine. That like, ain't that much push. So you, you feel like if they had took twenty one Savage off and just put like other people on different songs, it could have been better. Like if it was a Drake album with feature other features. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, what do you mean Drake album? Most of Drake's albums are rated high. Like by a lot of people. I mean, I would what's, rate a few of them. What's high. Drake's worst rap album? Well, I guess mm, I said rap album. 
know your tie we just did views views oh, i agree with that but that's when he introduced the the was that where woes kept was on huh i was riding through the no shit. that was, no, that was on, on if you're reading this yeah. shit too late uh, wait do we know if drake lost the bet like why did he do it i want 21 7 they got good chemistry together yeah. they, they liked what they got when they made the jimmy cook song cool. Maybe he cool. Maybe they cool. They said Twenty One Savage is cool with the, everybody. You think Twenty One Savage is saying no to that? Do you think they styles complement each other? I think I think Drake like the. I, mean, I don't think. I think so. Drake like the when he want to talk shit. That's, that's yeah, a, that's exactly that's a, what I was. That's thinking. a space for him to talk shit on. Because he, know? I mean, he talked about a lot of people. He talked about Kanye. He didn't give a fuck. I mean, he was like, uh, only time I was with the ops, and I did that for. Uh, when he did when he did that thing for Kanye, yeah. yeah. They they I don't think they're never gonna be cool. I think they did. I think they was cool for a minute, but I think he pissed Drake off again. I don't know what happened. But I think he pissed Drake. Kanye. Do you care? Huh? If you Kanye, do Kanye you care? did retweet a response, and he was like, "No, because on that, he was like, I gave Drake his flowers. I love Drake." He was the he said on that drink chest. One of the things he said, Drake is the best rapper ever. So I don't know. So he's a fucking liar now too. Who, Kanye? Yeah. Oh. Who's the best rapper ever, Linder? Do I got to lift up my shirt, say my tattoo? Juicy J? Man, if you Tupac. show me if you show me that, <laughs> if you show me that Eat Fresh Subway tattoo, bro, I'm be <laughs> indicient exposure. Or that uh, Jared was here tattoo. Ja- oh. Do you think Drake could could uh, finish off Meek Mill's in a versus? Or Meek Mill? Meek Mill. He finished him in one song. What's on? This nigga say Meek Mills one more time. <laughs> you don't, you don't remember? only one of them. That, that diss? No, I'm just saying, in a versus, though, they he got on stage. He says it back to back. What was before back to back? Back to back, to back was a Charged Up. Yeah. Charged Up was kind of cool. He was really like just like warning them. And he and Meek Mill came out with some bullshit freestyle, and then back to back came out. I don't remember any Meeks. Disses it was bad. To no, I'm not saying bad. disses, but if you get on stage in a verse, if it's Meek Mill, Drake's versus Drake, were I think Meek Mill Drake, delivery oh no. can win him a versus. Drake alone. is washing Meek Mill. Yeah, I don't think Meek Mill. Like, wild. not a chance. You a wild boy. Because I would have thought Fabulous would have watched Jada Kiss. I don't You're think it's a wild the same, boy. Though. It's not the same, bro. What's different? I think Drake can do everything better than Meek Mill. Mm-hmm. Has Drake ever had a song you like, damn, I really, really feel that shit? Yeah. yeah, I don't. I don't. Not for me personally. <laughs> you ain't. That's cool. Yeah, I'm not, you ain't I'm never not. been through nothing. This nigga ain't been through nothing. What are you talking about, bro? Well, he, he talk about you it like he has. You don't know that man's life. <laughs> Come on, nah, 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 I don't even think it'd be close. No, really? like you hold me, it wasn't. You hold me up here, boy. I'm they battled they did, and it like, wasn't I'm close. Not, like, I'm just saying, not, if it was a versus where it's track for track, like, that saying, really wasn't. You don't think, wasn't it'd, be, you don't think be it'd be close? I don't think it would be close. What do you no, mean? Drake has not. some. So of you the, don't think Meek got eleven songs? No, that's not. That's beating Drake songs. Yes, Drake has crazy. Has top songs in the world compared to Drake? Oh, man, I think y'all. I think y'all. Meek is gonna now. get the point off the intro and maybe a couple more. I Dreams think and nightmares. Cross the line. That's it. Dreams and nightmares. Is, <laughs> that's his best work ever. What? I don't know if does Meek Mill have a new album coming out, but the song he just put out like early mornings. Yeah, that's fine. But Meek Mill. That, does that's it. gonna be a lot of Drake songs. You said that's fine. Like it's just a throwaway. That's I, gonna said, be a lot, like, I said, I said, dreams and nightmares, and maybe a couple of them. It's Dude. this is new YouTube. No, exactly. he, everything, everything he drops on YouTube don't Google come out. Go the song, and I guarantee, him, like, nah, Drake ain't fuck with that. Meek don't give you that consistently, though. Drake is not fuck with that. Come on, man. Did you hear? He that don't have to be time? consistent. Did you, did you hear that last Meek album? He don't have to be consistent, but if he got ten of those, he don't. Like, come on, man. Name ten. Come on, You've nothing. Been name five. Oh my god. I can't name five. You got dreams and nightmares. That's it. I can't name five Drake songs. And I said on my list, Dreams and Nightmares is great, but Save Me is a better song by Meek Mill. I put that on my top 10. And that's a new song? No, that's an old song. Oh, okay. What's the name of the new song, you know? Early Mornings, I think. Oh, yeah, you did say that. I wasn't listening to you, but I was listening to you. I'm just trying to... I just threw it out there. I just threw it out there, bro. All right. I'm just, you know, some of us... I just think that you just need to just tone down a little bit on the Meek. It's just not happening. Dude. Not, not even close. It's not happening. Did anybody here think that Jada Kiss was going to win against Fabulous? Honestly. There's some people. No. I didn't say here? some people. No. I said anybody here. No, because I thought the Fabulous had more hits. Exactly. 
So exactly. you proving my point that Drake's gonna wash Meek Mill? No. Jada Kiss won, even though Fabulous has more hits. Jada Kiss has a better delivery. I, I still feel but like I don't think I like don't, when you when you put the mic in their head. How much Jada Kiss is a problem? But I feel how much like Drake streaming? is better. I think Drake is better at that than Meek Mill. And, and, but still, okay, and I can understand that. But you just say he has more hits. We know the verses, but his not about performances him. are it better. It is, than but me too. still, Jada Kiss and Fabulous were a lot closer. They were not. I didn't, then, I didn't feel like they were. I feel like Fabulous. I'm has just saying, a lot with songs hits. and talent, Jada Kiss and Fabulous are a lot closer than Meek Mill and Drake. Like that's when it when it was <laughs> Jada Kiss and Fabulous. I felt Fabulous had way more hits. Jada Kiss is better with a mic in his head. Then you had the diplomats. Jada Kiss still had hits though. I thought the diplomats was gonna take that easily. But the locks are like, nah, bro. See, I didn't either. Do I thought the locks was going to win that one. Nah, I, I like the locks. Don't get me wrong. But when it comes to songs you recognize that's going to go crazy, you can't tell I me mean, you thought yeah. the locks was going to win that. I did. I no, really, because Diplomats had only had one good album. Come I had the locks. Come on. Y'all, y'all, I, had the I didn't think JD Kiss what was going to go Locks biggest You just don't think that JD Kiss is going to go crazy like that. But the Locks had money, power, respect this better is the than thing. anything ever. This is the thing Diplomats about ever did. Drake. Like Drake, performance, just everything. I don't even you say like delivery. Like Drake, a Drake, a nigga that plan for this stuff like months in ahead, month ahead, months ahead, and just come in and just, just calculate it, destroy you, bro. I don't doubt that. I don't doubt that at all. But Meek Mill is somebody like Jada Kiss, so I feel like Meek Mill, Mill can just pick up the <laughs> mic and be like, boom, there it is. I'm going to get you a shot, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> just one of Mill, Mill. I didn't say the last. <laughs> I don't know, man. man. We're gonna, we gonna, I'm going to play the song out of the podcast, Johnny. All right. Sure. All right, let's do it, man. That's it, you done? That's we it. do this, we done. Hey, y'all y'all ch- chime in and let us know who y'all got in the verses battle. Make try, I feel like y'all trying to gang Make up on me a little bit. I don't want to gang up. We nigga, what? We all got opinions over here. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> now this nigga feel all I mean, I do think it's going to be a I landslide. Mean, like, hmm? It's going to be a landslide. It's not going to be a landslide. It's already a landslide. Three to one already. Y'all don't know good music, though, bro. Y'all don't know good music. You didn't even know Beans I'm was the best one on the rock, bro. I'm not going to put you on blast. I'm just saying, you didn't know that. I'm I not going to put you on blast. That's it. That's all, y'all. Peace and love. We up out of here. I tip my cap to y'all. Yeah, I can't believe y'all, bro. Y'all just got